Sunday morning, the day after the half marathon distance uh, run, and I'm feeling really good. Legs a little bit tight, but nothing too much, and it's completely to be expected, of course. I wasn't uh, anticipating wake up this morning feeling like I was uh, as nimble and flexible and uh, as, let's say, uh, loose and not as tight as I did obviously wake up. But yeah, overall, feeling very good, feeling really positive about yesterday. On reflection, I'm glad that I continued to keep going and uh, didn't stop when, uh, when, when it would have been easy to. I've been out for a walk this morning, uh, nothing too fancy, so I didn't record anything, but I'm about, up to about 10,000 steps or so. Just trying to, you know, get my legs turning over, just keep that momentum there. It's all obviously very easy to, to lay on the sofa and just Netflix it for the day, but that's not my plan. I want to get out, I want to keep busy, I want to keep moving. I've got a couple of jobs and errands to do today. There may not be a lot of footage to record, but really I'm just thinking about, yeah, how well I did. And, and the more I the more I start to analyse my performance, you know, you, if you've seen the video, if you haven't, I'll pop it up here somewhere. My pacing was pretty good. I wanted to be around uh, six minutes per kilometre. So pacing good. There's a few, you know, uh, sections and splits that were up and down but I allowed myself that option as I was making my way back uh, on my run of course I would run out and then I was running back and so I did give myself the opportunity if I wanted to to, to pick up the pace a little more uh, it was difficult it wasn't easy towards the end and um, as I mentioned the thing was I woke up in the morning grabbed a bit of breakfast had a drink and I thought I'd just go out for a nice light run. I was enjoying it so much I just kept going and then it was only as I was starting to come back I suppose you feel the effects of it. Now I didn't have any sort of issues with a side stitch or anything like that but you do suffer if you don't hydrate and uh, properly and I had a little bit of a headache um, for probably about an hour afterwards. I just felt a bit, bit woolly. I knew that I hadn't obviously uh, taken on enough fluids and then I was fine, fine for the rest of the day, but just, you know, that immediate feeling afterwards wasn't so pleasant. The um, the goal, by the way, I've got a half marathon booked in for, for early next year. The goal was always to try and get a half marathon time under two, under two hours. Now, that will be part of my lead up to the Brighton Marathon. The marathon is the focus. The half marathon is not. I happen to have booked the half marathon without really giving too much thought to the timeline however it's there as an option and uh, I'm, I'm just pleased that I was able to do a half marathon because it had been about I think just over three months since I ran that distance so it was back in the summer that was the first time I ran it and that was the time I actually ended up just injuring myself because I must have just gone all out and had no idea what I was doing still in my early days and I just thought you could just keep running run through the pain who cares do the distance um, obviously as I said yesterday, I'll try to be a bit more mature about it, try and keep a nice pace. I know that if I had put a little bit more of a, a quicker pace down going out, you know, I could have been doing 5.30 per kilometres and that probably would have got me even closer to the two, two hour mark. Anyway, thank you all for your support. I do truly appreciate it. Any advice, tips, I'm, I'm always open open to anything, open to any any help. And so it's another beautiful, crisp morning. We've got the sun out. It's the kind of morning you want around this time of year. You know, when the snow and the rain and all that stuff starts to come, you do miss these cold but bright days. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Catch you soon.